we have a job we have the mechanic has worked on it and now we need to record the the time that he's spent working on that particular uh, job so that we can run performance reports and, and keep track of our cost on the associated work orders now a couple things before I get started on actually how to log the time on the work order is if we go over here to settings and we go to invoicing and we have um, technician uh, pay rates we choose the technician that we want to actually work with and there's a number of different options here but we need to kind of make sure we understand what they're going to do so the first is that we can pay our mechanic or we're telling Lizzie that we're paying our mechanic based on the time that he worked so if he logged an hour he gets paid an hour and and so to do that we click time worked and we put in his default pay rate <clears throat> now we also can tell it that we pay him based on the amount of time that we bill to the customer the amount of time or the amount of labor that we bill so the the there's three different processes for figuring out how to do the billing and then basically when you're filling out the job itself lizzie will look over here and figure out what you're doing to decide how much she's going to put down for a cost on that particular unit now on top of that you also have the ability to drill in and actually specify pay rates based on specific unit types or based on the classification of the job so you can set up job classifications and you do that over here in the the other menu for technician classifications and then you apply that level to a particular job and then Lizzie will base the pay rate off of that so there's a number of different ways that you can have it calculating the cost of labor on a particular job so having set the system up the way you want it the next step is to actually apply the uh, the the time to the different job so we're going to do that by going over here to the job and you'll notice a wrench here that'll let me click it and it opens up the mechanic time now the first thing we're going to do is select the time that they worked or we can come down here and choose them from the list now this particular field here is our calc hours and this is where you could put in uh, 2.25 for example and then you click this box and it'll fill the time in for you but the important thing is are these two fields here they're the ones that have to be filled in um, you do not have to put anything in calc hours it's just you can use this to have it help you with the hours and minutes um, and then you hit the plus sign to actually add the time to that particular job now in addition to this if a mechanic is actually scheduled to work on this job they'll have the ability up here to actually start and stop the time automatically if they have access to a computer so again just like with a lot of things in Lizzie there's a number of different ways that you can actually go in and work with the different elements um, it really is just more a matter of how you have your shop set up and whether the mechanics are going to be handwriting their times on worksheets and you're going to be putting them in or if you're going to have them clocking in and out of the computer but either way when you click the wrench on the particular job Lizzie will fill in the information for you over here and then what ends up happening is on the job itself and this one I don't have any billable time yet but on the the time itself you can see here it's telling me how many hours he worked and it'll actually tell me the cost of that labor and you know based on the job and, and other things that you've got set up in settings so the the system will actually help report when you're trying to build the customer out what you actually have in getting that particular service job completed in the first place <laughs>